In this video, we will talk about the arc tool. And the arc tool sits right here underneath the, uh, the, the line segment tool. And uh, the way it works is uh, pretty straightforward. If I just click and drag, you will see that I am creating an arc that uh, at some point is going to look like a uh, like a well, one quarter of an ellipse. And if I'm hold, well, I'm still holding down the my mouse button. And if I move it around, you can see that I am changing the way this arc looks. So I can really play around with it. And notice that um, my first anchor point, the one in the in the bottom left, is uh, well is sticky. It's not moving. Uh, the only uh, well anchor point that I'm moving right now is the one uh, on the right on on the top right, just like so. Now, if I just let go of the mouse, you can see that we have uh, this uh, uh, this arc uh, created, and of course, I can change its uh, its uh, well stroke value. But as soon as I uh, change, um, well, I swap the fill and the stroke, just like so, you can see that we kind of have something like a I don't know how to call it, like a uh, like a flat uh, half ellipse or something like that. But um, if we just go to the to the outline mode, you can see that it's just an arc. Uh, Illustrator is assuming that there should be some kind of a line here. That's why it's kind of like a fill in the shape, so it looks um, well the way we <laughs> the, way we, <laughs> the way we just saw it before. Now, when creating an arc, you can do one little trick. If I just click and drag to create an arc, and now if I just press F on my keyboard, you can see that I am flipping this uh, this arc around. And if you saw my uh, flat design uh, wine glasses, uh, which is a free free class here on Skillshare, you will uh, well you will understand how helpful uh, the arc tool uh, is when you, for instance, want to create like a neck uh, of a glass. So if I just uh, press the F key, I'm able to uh, to flip this. Well, F for flip, <laughs> I'm able to flip this arc just like so. And if I just let go of the mouse, just like so, I've created like this uh, kind of a kind of a arc, uh, just just like this one. Now with the arc tool, you get uh, a handful of uh, pretty pretty interesting options when creating your arcs. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to, of course, with still the arc tool uh, selected, I am simply going to click on my artboard, well anywhere on my artboard, and you can see that we got uh, quite a lot of options right here. So first of all, we can uh, choose the length of the x axis and the y axis. So for now, I'm just going to maybe change it to 150 and this guy maybe to 200. Why not? We also get this uh, reference point option right here, which means that our arc will be drawn uh, from uh, well one of these reference points. So maybe this time I'm going to you know what maybe I'm going to leave it as top left. Why why not? And uh, for now I'm just going to leave all the all these options. I just want you to to to, to pay attention to uh, only these options. So we got uh, we we set the x axis, we set the y axis, and we set the reference point to top left. And if I just press OK. You can see that Illustrator has created this specific uh, specific arc for me. So now if I just click uh, once more, and this time maybe I'm going to type in 300 as well, and I click OK, you can see that it's now more, well, like, um, well, well, even or maybe a bit more proportionate than this guy right here. I'm going to move it to somewhere here. So again, let's play around with these options. This time, let's play around with the type. So from open, so, well, the open would be, uh, well, an arc like this one. I'm going to change it to closed and I'm going to click OK. And you can see that uh, Illustrator is closing this shape. It's giving us something like a, like a quarter, quarter circle. So I'm going to maybe delete these guys. Again, I'm going to click on my on my artboard. I'm going to go back to open. And now let's change base along to X axis. And let's see what this gives us. You can see that uh, Illustrator has flipped our arc before our arc to looked, um, well, it looked more like this, remember? And now it looks something like this. So Illustrator is flipping our arc mm, along uh, the, uh, the X axis right now instead of the Y axis. So again, I'm going to click anywhere on my artboard with the arc tool. And now let's play around with this slope function right here. So let's see what it's going to look like. I think it's going to look like a bit better if we change uh, the length of the, uh, uh, well, make uh, uh, lengths of the axis a bit different. So I'm going to go with maybe 200. Why not? And now let's go to concave. Let's make it more concave like so. Let's click OK. And as you can see, it's given us this uh, kind of a maybe a bit more rugged uh, arc, just like so. And now let's click uh, click on the artboard again, and maybe move it to convex again. And now it's given us well, kind of 
kind of a kind of a uh, like a flipped a flipped version of the previous um, of the previous uh, well the previous art. So if you're looking for kind of like a leaf shape, just like so, well you can if you want to uh, do it do it like this. But uh, the most useful and the most practical and the most common uh, options used with the arc tool would be when creating the arc. Uh, simply uh, simply um, press the F key to flip it, just like so. And you can also manipulate um, the, the, the slope by pressing the up or down arrow key. So we are now making it more concave or convex just by pressing the up or down arrow, just like so. So our arc is kind of like dancing really slow, maybe quite, quite, quite quick, just like that. And of course, if you want to, you can press the space bar and hold it down to move our arc just like that. So there you go. These are the options that you can play around, that you can use when creating your arcs. In the next video, we are going to move to the spiral tool, which is quite an interesting tool. So let's do that. Let's talk about the spiral tool in the next video.